What we're going to do here is create the jeans that John Knoll is wearing right here. I'm going to create it complete with the stitching and all the worn effects and so on. So, right here we have a blank screen. And I'm going to go in here and create the basic shape that's going to be the jeans. So right here is going to be the pocket. This is the pocket area. And we're going to come over here and create this little edge down here. And just come over and up. And this is going to be a little irregular through here. And then just close it off right there. All right, so this is the basic shape of what's going to be the denim. Now I'm going to go in here and create a series of lines which are going to kind of follow this edge a little bit. Slightly different in certain spots, so it starts to not look so rigid. And basically what this is going to be is just stitching. So I'm going to go in here and just let me grab these points down here. Bring it down and then let's continue. And we're just going to go in here and just follow along this edge, like so. Fairly close, but not exact, because I want it to look a little off. All right, and there we go. I'm going to do the same thing around the pocket here. So I'm going to go in here and just create a series of lines, two lines here that just kind of follow the edge of the pocket and double back on itself, like so. These are going to represent the stitching on the jeans. Just going to move these over a little bit, get them a little closer. And there's all our basic shapes. That's it. So let's save that path. So we have it. So now I'm going to go in here and I have another file where I created some denim. I'm going to select this, make sure I'm in the right layer that has the composite, and I'm going to just copy it, go over to the file where I'm creating the jeans, and I'm going to paste it right here, there. And we'll call it material. And I'm going to duplicate it. I want two of them. So now, right here, I'm going to create a layer, the background, and this is going to be the jeans. And in there, I'm going to take this path. Here's my basic paths. And let's turn off these other two layers so we can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to select this path right here, which is the basic shape of my jeans, right there. And I'm going to go in and fill that with a color. It doesn't matter what color, because it's just going to be active pixels, which are going to be a mask for the material. So I'm going to go in there and fill that path with whatever color, which right now happens to be black. And I can turn off my paths. Go over to my layers, and I'm going to turn on the material, and I'm going to clip it with the jeans. Option, Alt, click between the two of them. And there we see that we have now put the material inside that area there. Now, I'm going to take this material and put it behind the jeans back here. I want to see just this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, let's just turn this jeans off for a second. I'm going to select this area right here with my lasso. And when I have that, I'm going to turn this layer back on. And I'm going to say mask it. So now I'm only seeing that within that area because I masked it out. So now I'm going to take these jeans right here and I'm going to darken this. I'm going to select the actual layer. And with my burn tool, I'm going to go in there and kind of just start to darken this area. So it looks like it's the recess part of the pocket of the jeans, just like that. So I'm adding some tone in there, which now I can see where it is. So now, I'm going to add some stitching to this. So right here to the top of my material, I'm going to add my stitching. So we'll call it stitching. And I'm going to use a brush for stitching, which is outlined in the chapter on brushes. So I'm going to go in there, and uh, I'm going to select the paths that make up the stitching, which are this one and that one. I'm going to pick a color which is good for denim stitching, which is somewhere kind of a beigey tone like that. And I'm going to get my brush which is my stitch brush right here, which right now is pretty big. So if you know how to adjust it, I'm going to go in there and bring the size down, give it a little spacing so we have a nice little spacing in there, about like that, and make sure that I have this off, angle this off, let's change the size. We don't want any change in the size, but we do want the angle jitter to be direction. There we go. So now that we have that, we're going to take that, Make sure we're in the right layer. Yep, the stitching layer. Take that path and stroke it with that paintbrush. And now we have the little stitching. And let me undo that because I just noticed something that my brush, the opacity is lowered. Bring that back up to 100%. I take that path again and let's go ahead and stroke it with our brush. Now we have the stitching. Now it's overlapping. 
So it is a layer. I'm going to go ahead and clip that one into the jeans material. Now we see the stitching only where we want it. So I'm going to add a little detail to that stitching. So I'm going to go in there and give it a little bevel and emboss. Bring this down to about one. Increase the depth on it so we get some nice lights and darks going on there. And give it a little outer glow, which I'm going to change to a dark tone, a deep blue like that. And set this to multiply so I have the little indents into the fabric. And let's bring up that opacity a little more so we have a little indent into the fabric where the strings are going into the fabric. And I'm going to click OK. So now we've got the little stitching going on there. Now we need to wear the fabric. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take the material of the jeans themselves and I'm going to add a little dodging and burning. I'm going to go in here and just burn right through here. I'm going to add a nice long strip right here. I'm going to kind of darken it. And basically I'm looking at kind of the folds that I created with the stitching. We can see where it's going in there. So I'm going to add a little shadow right in there. Make the brush a little smaller, a little shadow in there, a little shadow in here, and we can make the brush bigger and we'll darken this even more. And then we see a little one right here. We're going to darken that. And we started adding some folds to this fabric. Now I'm going to go into my dodge tool and add a couple of little highlights in certain spots, like right above those basic folds. So I'm going to go in here and just add a little highlight right across there like that, right across this top part there, and maybe a little one right through here and right through there. So now we started adding the little folds to our fabric. And we'll even lighten this area down here. Just give it a little wear kind of a look. We're going to do the same thing to this layer. We'll add a couple of little highlights right in here and add a couple more little dark tones where we want it a little darker along the pocket there and add a couple little lines right across there so it's worn. Now, the final touch to really make it look worn is we're going to kind of wear the fabric away. I'm going to pick a light blue. Pick a very light blue like about like that. And in a layer on top of the jeans right here on top of the material but below the stitching, I'm going to create a new layer. There's a new layer. Right now it's blank. I'm going to take that path, the path that's the basic shape of the jeans right there, and I'm going to get my paintbrush. And I'm going to choose a soft edge brush like this one and make it a little bigger, about that size. That's good, right there. I'm set at 100%. I'm going to go ahead and stroke that path in that new layer. So I'm going to say stroke it. And it stroked it with that light colored tone which I'm now going to go into that layer. It's slipped inside there, but I'm going to get rid of parts of it. So I'm going to get rid of this part. I don't want this area in here, and uh, I don't want this area down here. I'm just erasing that part right out. I'm going to soften up my eraser so I can get real soft into these areas in here and down in here. And we're going to erase right up here in this area here. And then with my little smudge tool, I'm going to kind of just pull some of these out in certain spots. I'm going to pull them out, making them a little more irregular, just like so. So I'm just pulling little threads out just to kind of roughen that up a little bit, right through there like that. I'm going to set that to a screen and lower the opacity just a little bit like that. Now with that same color, I'm going to create another layer. And with my brush, I'm going to go in here and start adding small tones right in between the stitching, right in here like that. Let's turn off that pen pressure. And I'm just going to add a couple of little light tones right through these little areas here, which start to give it that worn look. If you're not sure how these things look, go to your closet, look at your jeans, and see how they've worn, and you can get an idea of how these things should work. So I'm going in there and adding these little tones, and I'm going to bring down the opacity for my brush down to about 70%. I'm going to just add a couple of little tones in these areas here too. So I'm just adding a couple of little wears into all these areas, just messing it up like that. Okay, maybe a little line going like that. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to blur this whole layer that I just created. So I'm going to give it a little Gaussian blur just to soften it up a little more, like so, like that. And change its opacity, bring it down just a little and set it up to screen also so that it's just going to lighten those areas just slightly like that. And you can see that now we have this nice denim material that's worn in the right places and gives you the feeling of real jeans.